Hello, welcome to NetVN channel. In this video I would like to introduce how to root VPN on Raspberry Pi so that you can access the internal network from the internet. On hand I have a Raspberry Pi 3 and a memory card 16 gigabytes. I will install zero tier on it and root VPN. First you install the operating system for the Raspberry Pi. There are several operating system options for it. You can use Raspbian or Ubuntu. In this case I choose to install Ubuntu OS for Raspberry Pi. You go to the Ubuntu homepage and download the OS image for the Raspberry Pi. After obtaining the operating system image file, you use specialized software for Raspberry Pi to write it to the SD card. You pay attention to enable SSH for Raspberry Pi to be able to access it over the network. You write down your username and password to use in the next step. Then you wait patiently for a few minutes to complete. And here is the SD card with Ubuntu installed for Raspberry Pi. I plugged it into the Raspberry Pi. Next you connect your Raspberry Pi to the internet using a network cable or Wi-Fi. To set up Raspberry Pi over the network I use a Windows computer on the same local network. Because I don't know the IP address of the Raspberry Pi so I use an IP address scanner software. After scanning I know it has an IP address of 192.168.167. I will use this IP address and the username and password set up in the previous step to remotely access the Raspberry Pi over the network. You open a command window and use the command SSH username at IP address to access over the internet. Before setting up VPN for Raspberry Pi, update the operating system for it. The VPN service I use in this video is zero tier and you only need a free account for this. Here I have prepared a free zero tier account to set up a VPN network. I log in to zero tier and create a new VPN network. I then named it NetVN Network. This is a VPN network that helps me access the internet from outside the internet. To do so, you can refer to the instructions from zero tier's home page. This VPN service helps you to route between physical network and VPN network to access local network resources from internet. You can access servers, printers, file sharing and more. Now you install zero tier on Raspberry Pi running Ubuntu operating system. You copy and paste this command to install zero tier. Zero tier can be installed on various operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and even on NAS. Next you set up Raspberry Pi to join the newly created VPN network with this command. You update the VPN network identifier to complete the command. Raspberry Pi needs administrator permission to join this VPN network. Here I allowed it to join the VPN network called NetVN and found it online. This command will tell you information about VPN connections such as IP address, network interface name. So Raspberry Pi has joined the VPN network I just created called NetVN. Next you set up VPN network routing. First of all you need to determine the network IP address range you are using, so you open a command window and use the ipconfig command to find out. As here my subnet is 192.168.10.24. I will route so that computers outside the internet can access this internal network through Raspberry Pi as above. You replace 24 with 23 to avoid unexpected access error. Devices such as computers or phones access the local network through the IP address of the Raspberry Pi provided by Zero Tier. On Raspberry Pi you set up port forwarding between two network interfaces. Specifically you forward the port between the physical network interface and the zero-tier network interface. 
Default port forwarding on Ubuntu OS is disabled so I enabled it by editing the size ctl.conf file. Just uncomment the netip v4 ip forward line and save your changes. After editing the file you use the command to enable port forwarding. You can stop for a moment to find yourself a t-shirt below the video or click like and subscribe. After finding your t-shirt, continue forwarding the port between the two network interfaces with the above three commands. To do so, you need to specify the names of the network interfaces on the Raspberry Pi. So you install the network tool to display information about its network interfaces. After installation you use the ifconfig command to display information, you only need to care about the physical network interface name and the zero tier network interface name. Once you have the network interface names you use it to edit the three commands as above. I will edit the physical network interface name first. I then edit the zero tier VPN network interface name. And here are the three edited commands, just copy and paste it into the command window. With these three commands you have forwarded the port between two physical network interfaces and VPN. The last two commands help you save the settings to avoid the Raspberry Pi rebooting. So I've finished setting up zero tier routing on Raspberry Pi. Now I will check if it works or not. So I use a laptop from outside the internet to access the intranet using zero tier. On this laptop I install zero tier client and join the VPN network. To join a VPN network called NetVN, I need to enter its exact network identifier. After correctly entering the network identifier, this laptop needs the permission of the VPN network administrator account named NetVN. On the management page I allowed the laptop to join this VPN network and found that both devices are online and belong to two different internet networks based on the public app address. On the laptop I will try to test the connection to the internet using the ping command. With the ping command I know that I have successfully connected to the local network so Raspberry Pi works fine with zero tier. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. From laptop I can access shared folder over internet thanks to zero tears help.